Today we bring you a special look at IBM's automated office vision of 1983. This promotional film shows the IBM DisplayWriter dedicated word processing system, introduced in 1980. DisplayWriter was a 16-bit microcomputer, with 8-inch floppy diskettes and limited file compatibility with IBM's other office systems. Cost was over $8,000, equivalent to nearly $25,000 today. The more versatile IBM PC introduced in 1982, was less expensive and more successful, and could run IBM's DisplayWrite software. IBM PC sales completely overtook the DisplayWriter, which was eventually discontinued by IBM in 1986. Information takes many different forms. For today's modern office to grow into the office of the future, there must be a compatibility, a way to access and distribute all forms of information on a timely basis. IBM is committed to a systems architecture or framework that enables IBM equipment to communicate through a compatible information system. Some fast-thinking executives are already doing business in the office of the future. And uh, we're going to need sales data on the northern region. Can you print it out for the 2 o'clock meeting? Hanson's going to be here. Sure, Mr. Blakely, right away. Executives need systems that can access information and deliver it to decision makers. Fran, in the budget report, make sure we include the San Francisco figures Broman sent us. Will do. IBM has set an objective to build the office of the future for its customers today. With a report on that commitment, here is Tony Stefanis, Division Director of Small and Office System Product Marketing for the IBM National Marketing Division. Our commitment is really a simple one. We want to make all IBM office systems compatible. In short, to make it possible for our systems to handle each of your office needs and still talk to each other. How are we doing? Let's take a look. Workstations need to support electronic document distribution as well as create or revise text. Our display writer system does just that and more. We told you we would provide the ability to attach the 6670 laser printer to our data processors and word processors, and we did it. Mr. Broman, the budget report from Atlanta just came in. We promised the 5520 and the display writer would be able to access a host computer and perform data processing functions from the same keyboard. They now have this capability. What makes this important to our customers is it eliminates the need for a separate terminal in the same work area. Yeah, this 150 flight to Houston looks good. We said we would establish a communications capability to make IBM Office Systems part of a compatible information and data processing network. We've done it through IBM Document Interchange Architecture and Document Content Architecture. These disciplines establish a framework for consistent interchange and structuring of office information. And we use systems network architecture, the world's most widely used telecommunications technique for linking information processing systems. Today, our customers can choose from a family of products that address the needs for either a workstation, distributed processor, or host connected system. Regardless of which you choose, you can be confident that they all work together and can transmit information to the people who need it. Anne, would you pull up the inventory file, please? Uh, let's see what it shows for Irvingdale. All right. A workstation should be able to do more than just word processing. It should perform key data processing functions and link into existing systems. This ensures that your data processing investment is protected. As new products are added, IBM compatible architectures provide the base to make this possible. This includes, in addition to text and data, non-coded or image information, such as signatures, pictures, and drawings. Today, personal computing is an important factor in the office for all levels of management, including top executives. The IBM personal computer can be attached as a workstation on our 5520 administrative system and our 8100 distributed office system. Personal computing functions are also required across workstations, and we provide this in many of our products. For example, the DisplayWriter now has a powerful personal computing capability. 
In the final analysis, our customers will define their own office of the future. It begins with the executives and reaches the end user departments. Critical to the successful automation of the office is a common architecture for all products involved. IBM is providing it today. As technology of our systems continue to advance, this will protect your most important investment, your information. That too is IBM's commitment to you.